Hi, I was creating a different script since we've now um, in our script the LibreOffice we have set everything to German. So it's now easy to have your own script and you have your own language to attend to. And we have just made copy paste, so it's still the same thing. If we gonna compare, it's a copy paste, but the idea is to have a German one, which is the left one, and an English one, and it's the other one. So you have a look. LibreOffice Fresh is for both languages the same. Then you have here LibreOffice Fresh DE, which is not the case for everybody, right? So you need to make a copy paste and then you start analyzing. LibreOffice and then English maybe or US, we'll see what we get. We have here French ENGB, how about US? It's probably the standard, but I'm gonna check anyway. I think it is. So I don't think we need to install anything for US, but we could, for instance, install something for um, English in that case. So this is Great Britain, GB, but there is also one here. So it's still one and a fresh one. Remember, we're the fresh guys, fresh DE. So just as a point of, of exercise, we can say, let's add also the ENGB. Let's have a look, big capital, small capital, everything is important, all small things. And a dash, yes, a dash. Everything should be correct, no typos allowed. So let's go for, I'll put it, I'll change the name here to ENGB. And then we keep on tracking down, oh, we keep on tracking down elements. So Hanspel DE. So Hanspel DE. You say nope. Let's try Hanspel. Sorry. Yay Hanspel. And then your English or maybe just GB is gonna work probably. GB. Okay. It's with an underscore. So this gets tricky. So this thing. Control Shift C. Is going to be replaced by that thing safe so the difference between left and right becomes obvious german english hanspel is hanspel for everybody LibreOffice uh, of office fresh okay so going back down hyphen is hyphen for everybody but this is hyphen de so i'm gonna go for an hyphen gb uh yay of course GB. Uh, no package search. Okay, fine, great. Hi. Fun. What do we get? The E E N E N E N E N E N. Okay, fine. E N it is. That's for English guys. Lip myth is for everybody. Um, this is not correct then. Just hyphen. Let's make this corrector. And this is just for the German guys. So let's have a look. Control C, mids. Yay, mids, Eric. And let's try this. It's also EN. Save. LibreOffice extension language tool is for everybody. And we have Papyrus LibreOffice theme that is not changing because of your language. So there you go. That's how you do it. The only thing I need to change is the name. This is no longer US English, but I'm gonna be ENGB. So that's it. Run German if you like. Run, um, should we not? Call it DE or something. It's going to be obvious enough, I hope. DE for German. Yes, DE. Let's change that as well. So it's uniform. Uniform. Oh, not that one. F2 again. And just call it DE. Rename. So you make yourself copy pastes and change the things. That's how you should do it. And next time in the next uh, VirtualBox, I'll have L install this guy and see if everything is, is working fine. All right, I'm out. This is how you make your own scripts.